Hey there, Kenny with Hawkins Precision here. Today we're talking about long action M5 DBMs. So in talking to customers, one of the biggest questions we get about our long action M5 bottom metals is the difference between the CIP and the CIP plus. Now the root difference between these two regards the magazines that they take, uh, but let's take a little bit closer look and I'll show you what I'm talking about. All right, so in front of me, I have two different CIP mags, an AI and an accurate mag. Now functionally, these are identical to each other, but the difference in regards to the bottom metal is the exterior length of the magazine. Now when I measure the AI mag, note the overall length of 3.840. That's the spec of our CIP bottom metal. And when I do the same on the accurate, note the overall length of 3.853. That's the spec of our CIP plus. All right, so the length difference between these two magazines is important. If I try and use an MDT or an accurate magazine in our CIP bottom metal, I'm gonna encounter what's called an interference fit. The two parts aren't gonna fit together. Uh, if I try and use an AI magazine in a CIP plus bottom metal, I'm gonna encounter about 10th hour at the slot. So one more important thing to take into account when you're trying to decide between these two bottom metals is cartridge choice. Uh, AI magazines are made in one feed lip size and that's Lapua. So if you're building say a 338 Lapua, 300 Norma, 338 Norma, something thereof, this might be the magazine of choice. They don't make any other feed lip size, however and that's where the Accurate or MDT magazines come into play. So say if I was gonna build a 300 PRC or a 28 Nozzler, 280 AI, something thereof, and I wanted to put it in a CIP magazine, this is my option. So CIP Plus is what you're after. All right guys, short and sweet today. I hope that helped. Uh, if you have any other questions, feel free to reach out to us online or by phone. Uh, we're always here to answer your questions. Take care.